Hey everyone, uh, Drew Harry here at, out at Fable Grove. Um, we're just gonna walk around the kettle pond this morning. <clears throat> so it's kind of a windy morning, unfortunately, but hopefully you can hear me. So we're more on the north end of the kettle pond over here. Um, this area hasn't been restored yet. We can take a look. We started cutting up over this way along this field edge. There's a pair of sandhill cranes over there just a couple minutes ago over that way. But you can see all the stumps here. So what we're doing here is clearing out along this field edge so that when we plant this to prairie, you'll get good germination, won't have those trees hanging over and shading out any of the prairie plants or anything. So you can just take a look here at an unrestored part of the sanctuary. Got garlic mustard, got some planted white pines, lots of box elder and black cherries. You got some digging over here. But not a lot going on as far as biodiversity in here so that's why we've been we've started working clearing this all out getting more oaks in here getting a more diverse understory during the breeding season I think I came in here in June and just listened for birds in this corner here and I think there was a chickadee and a downy woodpecker or something so there wasn't a lot going on in here. <clears throat> mulberry that's invasive <clears throat> that was multi-flora rose that hurt so here we're at the kettle pond see some geese out there There's a wood duck. Saw so, uh, my first wood ducks yesterday. A little bit of ice out there yet. You can see how the water level has fluctuated to these exposed mud flats. I think there are a couple more wood ducks over there. Maybe a dozen geese on the pond as well. <clears throat> so we're still in the area we haven't cut through or seeded or anything. You can see this is all reed canary grass. So that's invasive. But actually a lot of this pond has some high quality emergent vegetation out here. There's often big beds of pickerel weed out here, which has a really pretty flower and it forms big stands often when the water levels draw down.
So here's an area where we cut some of the brush through here. So there's mostly just cherries and mulberries and box elders left in here. We just kind of got to start in here. So this will still have to be cleared out. But there's nice views of the kettle pond up here. So up there you can see more sunlight we cleared more of that out um, that'll eventually be seeded and will it be a lot more diverse than it is right now <clears throat> see some geese down there I heard my first uh, song sparrows yesterday. Saw my first wood ducks. Um, oh, and I heard a meadow lark this morning. So it's getting a little windy up here. You can see the kettle pond is still, still has a lot of ice out there. So basically right here, you can maybe notice kind of that the vegetation changed from over here. So over here has been seeded for a number of years. So there's lots of good natives. There's elm leaf, goldenrod. <clears throat> there's brown-eyed Susan. There's giant yellow hyssop. There are lots of good natives coming in here, and we've gotten burns through here. We were thinking about burning today, but the ground is still pretty damp. You can see here, just these oak leaves are still really wet. <clears throat> Actually, you can see on the other side of the kettle pond, there's still some snow hanging on there. And we're looking out here at the floating mat. There's lots of poison sumac out there, but that's native. That's a nice native species. There's some leather leaf and lots of cotton grass out there. There's the general. So that's a huge bur oak tree. I think it's over 14 and a half feet in circumference. So kind of a, a relatively quiet day on the kettle pond. Just the water hasn't opened up yet and it's real windy so I haven't heard song sparrows or anything over here this morning. But you can really tell the difference between you know what we walked through over there where it's just dense there's hardly anything growing in the understory there's so much shade versus this area which has more grasses tons of forbs it's been cleared out a ton and we have this nice oak canopy with some variable shade
so it's getting pretty windy here. Um, that'll about do it for our little tour of the cattle pond. You can come out and visit at any time. It's open to the public. as soon as next week or something. Um, if you're interested in that, you can email me at favel at madisonautobahn.org. Uh, you can find my contact info on the website. Um, so that'll be the biggest volunteer opportunity coming up is pres prescribed burning. Um, but other than that, uh, enjoy the nice spring day. Thanks.